everybody. Welcome to AJS News. This is the second and final news video, maybe, until something else happens. What we got for you this week, for, the, for today at least? But first, a word from our very important sponsors. Hey guys, we all shop online. I shop online almost exclusively. I never leave my house. No, there's no need to. <laughs> <laughs> and guys, every time you go to the cart, you see that promo code area, it taunts you. It's like, I don't know what, what code will unlock an, an extremely good deal for yes. me. Well, that's where our sponsor, Honey, comes in. It's free, it installs in seconds, and it's going to scour the internet to get you the best coupon codes to save you the most money. Do you like money? I like money. Yep. It's so easy to do. Let me show you how. Here's how it works. You get Honey on your computer for free. Two easy clicks. Just go to joinhoney.com backslash AJS. Then when you're checking out at any of its 30,000 supported sites, Honey is going to pop up automatically. And all you have to do is click that little apply coupons. Look at that. And then you just wait a few seconds as it kind of searches for coupons for that site. And then it'll find a working code and you'll see before your eyes it, the price is dropping. Guys, and by getting Honey, not only will you be doing yourself a favor, but you'll also be helping out the Angry Joe Show. Get it now. It's free. The link is down below. It is joinhoney.com backslash AJS. Perfect, guys. Thank you so much for partnering up with us, honey. And thank you to you guys for saving yourself yeah. some more money. Money, honey. Who doesn't like money, honey? You're a honey. You like money. Go download honey. <laughs> honey saves you money. That's it. Do it. Install it. Doesn't cost anything. It only saves you something. So yeah. that's you got it. nothing to lose. The easiest All, one right there, boy. Gain. <laughs> yeah, gain some money so you can buy some more games. Mm -hmm. I love it. <laughs> All right, so click those links down below and install Honey now. Mm -hmm. All right, first story we got. We've been talking a lot about Amazon games and mm -hmm. how they haven't really put out anything. Yeah, it's sad. They're spending I'm, money I, though. Five hundred million. <laughs> oh yes. yeah, they know how to spend money. That's yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, they need honey. It, you know, we were looking forward to New World, right? Yeah. Uh, well, it got delayed again. Okay. Uh, so it was supposed to come out sometime soon, but it, get, get, uh, it recently later. pushed the MMORPG to August so it can have end game features ready for launch. So they were. Okay, okay. That's end fine. game content right. is important for an MMO. Yeah. People want stuff to do because there's going to be people that race through all the content, sure. and there was none of it. And so this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but this just does continue to stretch the where are the yeah. games, yeah. Lebowski. And, uh -huh. uh, and when I played it, it's like I said, it was, it was rather average. They needed some more work on it, and you know, and they're apparently doing that now. Lovely. So good on them. Uh, maybe they can turn it from an average game to an above average game to maybe even a great game. Mm -hmm. A we'll masterpiece? Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> I think, yeah. <laughs> Um, From what I've played, no. I'm not sure they can get Masterpiece unless they completely <laughs> revamp all, they, all the things. They don't have that much time. Mm. But I did play a long time ago, so anyway. So it's been pushed to August 31st. Uh, the team has been working on various additions, including compelling M game features. Yeah. The delays to ensure those features and fine tuning can make the launch date. It's good. If they had been doing a great job in development and released it in January, February, it would get a lot of fanfare because they ain't shit. They ain't shit around right now. Nope. There ain't nothing. Nothing I'm interested in, really. Mm -hmm. uh, well, there are no PlayStations either, still. And uh, that's really? important because uh, the PlayStation 5 um, has had controller issues. And uh, we've talked a lot about Joy-Con drift and controller yeah, drift and all these other things. The PS5 see. apparently has them. Some people got a day one issues, and a lot of people are starting you to develop issues? them now. He's not PlayStation yet. I have PlayStation. I want one. I still can't buy one. Yeah, oh, I'm that's waiting. right. I have the PlayStation. You, yeah, you yeah. have no I'm issues. Not, yeah. Of course, I'm not beating on my controller every day. I've only played like, you know, during the launch window, a little bit afterwards, and stuff like Godfall. Yeah. Like, I'm not playing that. Spider-Man, I play a lot, but not enough to beat up on my controller. So there's controller issues. Yeah, and it's, it's once you start playing uh, Demon Souls, you'll there like, you go. Damn it. Yeah, God you'll break it anyway. <laughs> Uh, and apparently it's not an easy fix. The new PlayStation 5 DualSense Teardown has revealed the potential causes of the controller drift. So we got a whole video where they took apart the controller. And it's just, um, according the DualSense as well as the DualShock 4, the Xbox One, the Xbox Elite controllers all use the off-the-shelf joystick hardware with a long history of predictable, preventable issues. Mm -hmm. So it's just they just got lazy and cheap with stuff that you shouldn't get cheap with because Nintendo's getting sued for this kind of stuff. They've had issues with it in the past. And so... Should have known eh, better. What yeah. are the chances of us uh, that happening to us? Come on. <laughs> oh, a lot. shit. <laughs> a lot of shit. Did you use the cheap one? You told me to. <laughs> You're trying to cut corners. Come on. <laughs> 
Yeah, so the potentiometers, uh, is they're just using old ones, the same ones that have issues for years. And uh, there also can be a, st a stretched spring that can do it. There's a bunch of other things, uh, con uh, contaminants if you, you know, get dirty controllers. So there's a bunch of different things that can cause this issue, and every a lot of people are having it with a lot. Now, there's not even a lot of people with PlayStations right now, yeah. so the fact that there's so many already and the system just came out, this does not quite look good for Sony. I would expect a another class action yeah. lawsuit for this uh, kind of thing, too. Wow. But hopefully they fix it whenever I get mine. Well, these controllers no, are cheap, no. right? A PS no. The PS5 controllers are what eighty bucks. Yeah, they're expensive. Yeah, so it's not like they they got they, they're like oh we're giving to you for free. It's like no, you're charging me eighty dollars for these things. Like put good oh yeah, stuff it's in certainly them. positioned as a premium controller. Yeah. So, so uh, this week, Eurogamer reported on a U.S. law firm that has filed a class action against Sony over alleged previous uh, DualSense drift, and I imagine these are going to get lumped in with that, too. So uh, no comment from Sony yet, but they're going to have to. Yep. It's like, we were unaware of this happening, but you, you said, shh, we were unaware. <laughs> yeah. We did not know. Well, it sounded are. like that company was like, we had previously tried to sue them before, and it didn't work out, and they released a new console. And they Can didn't we sue do them again? shit about it. Let's try to sue them sue, this time. Sue them again. Yeah. This week was a big week for uh, video game announcements. We got a bunch of Nintendo ones. We got a bunch of ones from Blizzard. Uh, the big one, the the only one that I'm really excited about, is Diablo 2 Resurrected. Um, remember how good Warcraft 3 was when they they released that thing out. Well, apparently Reforged. they oh, yeah. they so learned uh, the uh, yeah. I'm scared. Yeah, I would be terrified. Reforged. Cool. So it's apparently a new team. Apparently they've learned from their mistakes. They've done a bunch of <laughs> interviews where they said that we're not going to do any of those things. We're not deleting the old Diablo two. We're not. You know, we're even leaving a lot of the bugs and exploits in the game. So you have everything that you love about Diablo 2, except for the item duping. They're, they're t apparently getting rid of that. Yeah. So Diablo 2 Resurrected includes a remaster of the, the 2000 uh, original game and Lord of Destruction uh, with high-resolution 3D visual, uh, visuals. It looks great. Yeah, uh, I would love, I to love do that. Diablo 2. This is back sure. when I loved Blizzard, and they were my favorite video game company. Yeah. Right, the reason I hate Blizzard, and I do hate them, is because they used to make video games that I love. Yeah. And now they make trash, and they literally invented loot boxes. What well, kind of with Overwatch? So popularized. Fuck Blizzard. Mm -hmm. um, and, but this is back from the time, and so they're like, "Oh, we don't know how to make good games anymore. We'll just remaster our old oh, ones." Yeah. But they did that with Warcraft Three, and that Take sucked. That. And so maybe we'll be happy. Yeah. But if it's if so, I'm playing. If you want to play with me, great. But I'm playing yeah. for sure because you I check I, it out. See I love if they messed ones. it up. Yeah, it's good. It's a good game. Um, put hundreds and hundreds of hours of a lot of my friends have into the game. I never put a, an extended period of time into Diablo 2. I would go over to a friend's house and we would play on that. So it's a great opportunity for somebody like me who really never got like in the nitty gritty of it to try it out in, you know, in 2021. So that's that's coming this year. Uh, yeah, it's the end of 2021. There was also a bunch of other announcements. We know we're getting Skyward Sword for Switch. Yeah. yeah. Great. I mean, uh, Splatoon three. Uh, all right, cool. Overwatch Thanks. is not. Overwatch two is not coming out this year. That oh. was uh, announced. So, okay. oh no, I can't oh, play no. Overwatch one point five. Uh, Plants um, vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville. That's uh, cool. Uh, Plants vs Zombies cool. I guess. I guess. Star Wars Hunters announced for Switch. Oh okay. What is Star Wars Hunters? All they have is a logo right now, which makes me very nervous. <laughs> so in three years, uh, it, we'll have a game. A new. Uh oh. We learned about a new competitive and free-to-play online shooter coming to Switch set between Star Wars Episodes uh, 5 and no, 6 and 7. A very brief trailer shows off holograms of various combatants from red lightsaber-wielding characters in the style of Sith to a variety of stormtroopers. Mm -hmm. So it's a free-to-play game being developed by Zynga. Microtransactions. Known yeah. for its social and mobile games. They and should have said known for its microtransactions. Yeah, known for content gating. And, uh, which uh, generally and focuses on the free-to-play gaming space. Unfortunately, today's Nintendo Direct didn't offer any additional details on what to expect. So we'll have to wait a, long, uh, a while longer. Uh, you know, anything Star Wars... Uh, I we'll I pay attention. Uh, it perks me up. I'm like, yes. Uh, what are we looking at? Can can I have Zinga. a can I have a dark side game, please? Yes. Can I get a little bit of fucking Sith love up in here? Oh. Five dollars. I would love, you know, like that Darth Maul thing that got canceled a long time ago. Something like that. Uh, 
And here it looks like you might be able to play, you know, some Sith type characters on uh, a Zynga mobile game. No, we'll I would rather. You're right, not exactly. Play. Right, no. uh, it has to be like done well in the vein of, say, a Warzone uh, or say, you know, an Apex Squadrons. Legends. Like, uh, but no, because Squadrons has free, you know, DLC and no microtransactions. This one, you bet your fucking ass, Star Wars Hunters is going to have microtransactions. So. Looking for maybe another uh, conniption fit from me. Uh, just stay tuned because when <laughs> Star Wars Hunters is announced and they start uh, selling uh, $290 fucking tauntauns, you know, then then I will be fucking... Is it a real one? <laughs> yeah. yeah. If it's a real sure. one, they'll buy one. All right. <laughs> sure. Yeah. All good. right. Well, the most important announcement this week is <laughs> the... the the Tauntaun Titan edition. <laughs> so that's the collector's edition. It well, comes in a big box. Yeah, or just sleeping bag. That would have been great. sleeping bag. That been great that's fucking like genius. There are sleeping that's bags. That's fucking genius. Yeah. Should have had that for um, last week. The most important video game investor in probably the last thirty years is getting back in the gaming industry. Um, after his first attempt at breaking into the gaming industry as a console manufacturer, Soldier Boy is ready to crank out try number what? two. What? No! So the Soldier Boy <laughs> console was something that he tried in 2019. Superman at home! Uh, and, uh, He's got a Superman. It was terrible. That thing is a cheap ass. It was Piece like of plastic. it was like the mall. Why don't emulators? you, Joe, make your own console? I, and I stop probably hating. can. Give me stop this table. Stop playing hating, Joe. Give me this <laughs> table right here. I'll make a console with this table. <laughs> uh, you playing? Yeah. Why don't you make a console? <laughs> what? Are you kidding me? This is hilarious. He gets a lot of free marketing. Well, there you go. There's your angry There's your Joe free, show free, free marketing, marketing there. So Soldier when he first Boy. put out his first console, he was met with a ton of cease and desist because yes. it looked like he was just stealing it games. Was, yeah, and it was Chinese design, knockoff, ripoff. And, and the uh, when he said he made him retire. Um, what? So oh no, sorry. He was met with cease and desist notifications from major companies in the business while yeah. the rapper took pot shots at former uh, Nintendo president Reggie uh, when he said <laughs> he made him retire. So Soldier Boy is claiming that he made Reggie <laughs> retire. <laughs> uh, after numerous jokes and what utter a, silence, it looks like Soldier Boy is ready to crank out the, in the gaming market How? once more. Uh, yeah, so we're getting another Soldier Boy console, and yeah, here's what good. it looks I, like, I, and I, like, I cannot wait. I cannot wait to look at the garbage fire. Yeah, it's going to be <laughs> terrible. The thing was just like uh, look like a hollow Xbox. Yeah. Xbox One. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like a little piece of just shit. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I'll tell you, Soldier Boy's entertaining to watch his, you know, Dragon Ball streams and, and fighting game streams, you know, but uh, as far as uh, whether he's a competent Is he playing on his own console, uh, video, though? Oh, ew, ooh. He can't. Why are he can't. Why is this not available not for the Soldier Boy console? That's not, yeah. You need to work on your business connections and get that on there. So, yeah, call me when that's on your console. Yeah, I, I cannot wait. OJ will buy it. No. I don't even want it. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's something you would see at the flea market. It is. They do sell them at the flea market. They sell yes. them at the, the terrible mall kiosk. It's like, this has every Nintendo game and Sega game in it, and it's $300. It's like, that's an emulator. No. Yeah. That, that thing's like a $50 thing. No, absolutely not. <laughs> All right. Well, that's the biggest story I've got for this week. Soldier Boy uh, is you'll see some knockoffs of even Soldier Boy's <gasps> console at the flea market. Oh, man. You know, it'll be next to the dogs that do the backflips. You know, they bark a couple yes. of times and they do a backflip. <laughs> And then superheroes look like Ninja Turtles yeah. with capes. Yeah. <laughs> yep, there's it. Amazing. That's where you would find the Soldier Boy coming. Coming to a flea market near you. Yeah. I love those flea markets. All the pirated the DVDs. Hey, they got great DVDs. Mm -hmm. They there's got all, great oh, blankets. Yeah. There's Here always a lot of advertisements. Great Mexican blankets. Oh, oh lot yes. yes. Oh, yes. Mm. The bacon and big old turkey legs. The bacon wrapped hot dogs were good. All right. Let's anything go. else you want to talk about? Or are uh, we all shut the down from uh, the pandemic? Last week was a Mortal Kombat trailer. Did you uh, see it? Let me see. Mortal I, Kombat. You didn't Hell have any, yeah. You didn't have any. You didn't have any water. I watched it, and it didn't look good. What? We love it. Shut the hell up. Why are you so We content? did a video. Check it out, guys. Yeah, go check it out. Why didn't we you like it? We thought it was pretty good. But besides the whole... Your Why ads, didn't you like it? Little, little ads. I don't know. I mean, I watched it like three days ago, but it, I wasn't like pumped to watch this Mortal Kombat movie. <sighs> what? Well, 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 that's that's a pumped. pumped. Like, you know, obviously. It cool. No, man. Pumped. I'm pumped. Yeah, it looked, it looked good. good. No? It looked good. That looked good. No? What did you hate about it? Did you hate the arms exploding? No, Did you hate cool. the brutalities? Did you hate the fucking... Um, the only thing I whatever. want is a friendship. Hey, 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 this hey, looks, hey, this hey. looks like jujitsu. More like jujitsu no. than I want no, it to No, it fucking like. doesn't. The original Mortal Kombat was a good jujitsu. No 
<laughs> jujitsu had no jujitsu. Okay, this one looks like a faithful adaption of the source material with coal. Okay, yes, it's just that's the one new character. That's what he was yes, saying. What was he saying, was like, yeah. if you pull coal out of there, <laughs> then you've got yourself a really, really good movie. But I don't know. They wanted to do Look, something I love original. Mortal Kombat 1, and I love how bad Mortal Kombat 2 is. And so I want this to be good. <laughs> no, I this just is probably going to gonna be in the middle. I think it's going to be you got your good, you got your really bad, and maybe you'll have your uh, Yeah, I'm thinking uh, it's definitely going to be in the middle, but I'm, I, it's looking like it's going to be a little towards the annihilation. No, I think it's a little crazy, towards above man. average. You crazy, How maybe often have you been average. tricked by goddamn trailers? Uh, trailers? A lot. Never. But, but uh, There's whiffs of shit in this trailer, and the problem with that is if I, like, trailers can be it can no! make a terrible movie. What's the looking, whiff of shit? I, I'd, I'd have to watch it with you and okay. be like, that. that's the thing that whiffs of shit. So it's like... <laughs> All right. All right. I got one. A Twisted Metal TV series oh, coming great. from no the writers. Wants, no. uh, the writers of Deadpool, sir. Deadpool was great. I want a oh. Twisted Metal video game. Fantastic. I love Twisted Metal. Metal. How would they do it? Just fucking, I don't know, based it on the clown. I, I don't fucking know. It's There's a live action. Ad- well, but Calypso around. was originally the bad guy in Twisted Metal, so yeah. it could be that Calypso's putting on like a Like a thing demonic and... fucking thing. I like that shit. Yeah, Terrifier yeah. is coming. Terrifier <gasps> 2 is going to have a what sequel this movie? year, I think. What movie? Terrifier? No, it's an older movie with an 18-wheeler. It's an 18-wheeler with the Joker face. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Joe, the Green Goblin face. That's a Stephen King uh, Maximum Overdrive. Yes, so it's basically going to be like that. Yep. Twisted Metal is one of the most beloved franchises yes. from PlayStation. We are thrilled to have such a great team working on this icon to bring this iconic game, game to life. God damn it. Motor Mouth Outsider. There's, the show will follow a Motor Mouth Outsider. That is seeking greener pastures in order to make a better life for himself. However, there is one small task that stands between him and his better life. Delivering a mysterious package across an area ravaged by greed and post-apocalyptic it's an Amazon endeavor. truck. This doesn't sound like Twisted Metal at all. Well, it's an Amazon it, he's truck, going right? through the Twisted Metal world to try to deliver yeah, but something. But Twisted Metal maybe. is a competition to get a wish granted. Let's not argue over whether it's fucking going to be accurate. It's fucking Twisted Metal. Yeah, yeah. but it's, right. it's a pretty clear Twisted Metal story. The guy who's in charge says, "If you kill everyone, I'll give you a wish." Okay. Period. Here's another one. Cobra Kai writer Michael Jonathan Smith is also on board mm-hmm. to executive produce and help write the TV adapt uh, adaption with Will Arnett. Cool. Uh, I like him. Mark Foreman and Peter Principato. Uh, PlayStation uh, studio head Herman is also on board to executive produce, though no casting decisions have been fully revealed at this time. Okay. Well, s- Twisted Metal. <laughs> cool. I used to play that shit all the time. and uh, I want to I play wish it him now. Luck. Wish him luck. Yeah. Spectre was bullshit. He had those homing missile ultras. Oh, they go the, through walls and shit. I hated that. Spectre was the motorcycle guy. No, that's Mr. Grimm. Mr. Grimm. Yeah. And then there's Axel with the big fucking that wheels. Part, in part two. He had yeah, he had wheels uh, for hands. There's Hammerhead. There was Sweet Tooth. Damn, uh, you remember them all. Sweet Tooth is the most famous one. Yeah, he be- eventually takes over as Calypso. Played that a little bit. I played the uh, really Vigilante okay so. Eight. Mm. Look, I know my Man, Twisted Metal. You, this guy makes all... He, why, why do you watch and play all the generic pieces of crap? Oh, I wrote a movie for OJ this weekend. <laughs> what? Like, like, legit, yes. I wrote a movie for OJ this weekend. <laughs> what, what is it? Look, a lot of wine was involved. But, like, uh, no, amazing. no, I'm not spoiling anything right now. Oh, it, I gonna, are we going to get this made? Yes, I, I so. want to get this made. Okay. Sci-Fi Channel, call me. Wow. It's better than anything that you've shown. No, Matt, not... <laughs> it's, it's better than some of the, your bad movies, but it's not as good as Velocipastic. I would watch it. Okay, yeah, you heard it here first. An, an OJ <laughs> film is in... Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want to be in it? Yes. Yeah, I'm being in it. Of course. All right, cool. All right, that's it. Anything else right. you want to talk about? No. No, okay. Great. All right, go away. Bye. No, 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 no. First, <laughs> let's thank our sponsors who will no, save no, no, you money. Come back, come back. And we need all the money that we can save because apparently we are producing an OJ movie. So yes. sci fi install call. sci fi channel, please call us. Uh, but yes, uh, so click those links down below, install honey on your systems, start saving money today. Completely free, no reason not to. And thank you so much. Watch our first video. This is one of two. And yeah, we'll see you guys on the next Angry Joe Show. Right, Bye guys. guys.